Hey, we're going to read today in Colossians chapter 4, starting in verse 1. It says, actually we're going to start verse 2. It says, be faithful to pray as intercessors who are fully alert and giving thanks to God. And please pray for me. This is Paul, the Apostle Paul. That God will open a door of opportunity for us to preach the revelation of the mystery of Christ, for whose sake I am imprisoned. Pray that I would unfold and reveal fully this mystery, for that is my delightful assignment. So here's Paul. We, we know because um, he's in prison, we know that this letter came from when Paul was in prison. So he even says, for I am in prison. But what he's saying, he's saying, he's encouraging those he's writing to in the church, the Colossian church, he's saying, be faithful intercessors, be faithful in your prayers. And, and to intercede is really much more than just um, to just shoot a prayer up to heaven or ask God to bless this one situation. It's to really intercede. Christ is our ultimate intercessor. Like he stood in the gap between sinful man and God and he bridged the gap. He interceded for us. So Christ is our intercessor and we can never intercede in the way that Christ did, though we can intercede on, on his behalf because we're bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. And so there are ways that God does ask us to intercede. And so as we are praying and standing in the gap and we're standing in this gap until we see God's will accomplished. And so that's what it means for us to stand in the gap, to intercede, maybe for those who don't know the Lord yet, or for a particular situation where God is working and we know God's working. And so we're to intercede on behalf of that situation. So he's saying, be faithful to pray as intercessors who are fully alert. If we're going to intercede on someone's behalf, we have to be fully alert and giving thanks to God. We have to always be in constant praise to God. And he says, and please pray for me that God will open a door of opportunity for us to preach the revelation of the mystery of Christ for whose sake I'm in prison. Pray that I would unfold and reveal fully this mystery for that is my delightful assignment. And so he's asking for prayer, not to get out of prison or for comfort there in prison. No, he's saying, pray that I would proclaim the gospel boldly as I should, some versions say, because he knows that, okay, maybe he can't go out on the streets and preach the gospel, but number one, he's writing letters, so he's preaching the gospel in that way. But secondly, we know that Paul preached to the prison guards and those that were around him, and so he's saying, pray for me, that I would preach the word boldly as I should, that I would reveal the full gospel to my enemies as I should, because why? Because that's what true love does. It's gonna proclaim the full gospel. He didn't wanna hold back on any parts, maybe out of fear, I don't know. He didn't wanna hold back. So he's saying, pray for me that I would proclaim the gospel, that I would unfold and reveal fully the mystery of the gospel. So this is what Paul's asking for prayer for. He's encouraging those he's writing to be faithful and intercede for others. And so we want to take encouragement from that as well, that we can be those that intercede on behalf of our loved ones that don't know Jesus yet. We can intercede on behalf of our children who maybe are struggling with something. We can stand in the gap. We're not just going to pray one time and say, oh, God didn't answer that prayer. No, we're going to stand in the gap. We're going to keep interceding until we see the full will of God reveal and come to earth on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we're interceding for is for the kingdom of God to come and invade our lives, our loved ones' lives, our situations. And so let's be those that stand faithfully. We stand strong. We're fully alert. We're fully aware of the devil's schemes. We're fully aware of the power of God and what God can and desires to do. We're fully aware of his word and the power of his word. So let's be those that pray and intercede faithfully. Jesus, thank you that you are our intercessor, that you stood in the gap between sin and our death, that we no longer have to die. We can just come live eternally with you, Jesus. And so thank you, Jesus Christ, our intercessor. We pray that we would follow in your example to lay down our lives, to intercede 
on behalf of the others, that we would stand in the gap and faithfully call down heaven and pray that your kingdom would come and your will would be done in our lives, in our family's lives, in our lost neighbor's lives, in the stranger at the store's life, whoever you prompt us to go to, God, you are asking us to stand in the gap and intercede and truly believe that your kingdom is coming to that person or that situation. So give us faith to believe, Jesus, that with you all things are possible. In Jesus' name, amen.